disrupt America that I fought for. Honor. thing to happen. <laughs> So as insane as that debate was between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, I think the more insane part of it was the post-debate, as you're about to see here. And I think the real villainous monster of any political dynasty is the rest of the family that's cashing in on one of their own running for president or running for political office. Usually because of the fact that they're benefiting off the kickbacks that it provides. People like, for example, Jill Biden, who is the first lady. And this, to me, just seems like, it, I, I don't know how really to explain this. It seems like a villainous move for Jill Biden's behalf to say this to her husband after the debate for the pursuit of the fact that she wants to maintain her stature as the first lady. She's getting kickbacks on the fact that Joe Biden is running the country, even though clearly he is not capable of walking off stage. So how does Jill Biden respond to Joe Biden falling flat on his face during the debate? Listen to this. This is just blows my mind. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the Let me oh ask the crowd, God. what did Trump do? Yeah. Yes. Joe, you did such a great job. God. Oh, oh, gotta watch it again. Gotta watch it again. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. Yes. Good job, Joe. I'm proud of you. You stood on stage, you nodded, you answered questions, and you made boom boom into potty. Holy. I'm trying not to swear because this is going to be on YouTube. Holy mother F balls. Is this crazy? This, this is your wife. This is your wife talking to her husband, the president, worse than a preschooler. Good job, Joe. You answered like every question. Yay. Oh my God. I this this reminds me of all the times like you watch W5, for example, and they have clips about senior abuse how companies to deliberately go after seniors and lie to them and they are codified into their scams and they, you know, give up their credit card info or their social security numbers. This is the most heinous thing I would say I've seen in this entire debate. This is evil. This is evil because Jill Biden is not doing this to make Joe Biden feel better. She's doing this for herself. She's doing this to the fact to lie to her husband to again be president again so that she becomes first lady again and get the kickbacks because their whole entire family, and there's a whole article that we'll discuss later on in the clip here uh, of just how crazy this family is, how narcissistic, foolish, and selfish the entire Biden family is. And that's what makes them a good political dynasty is because they are so full of themselves that they deliberately purposely lied to not only the general public, but to their own members of their family. Remember when Joe Biden said that Hunter, Bi he was proud of Hunter Biden. He's such a smart man. Hunter Biden is just the smartest man I know. He's, I'm proud to call him my son. The guy who deliberately hold, hold a, a, a laptop full of, pornographic images, him on coke, and other deep state secrets that he gave to a repair shop that he didn't re recount where what repair shop he gave it to, lost the gun. <coughs> All the heinous crimes that he got that he was able to get away with because he paid off the deep state. And he doesn't even remember. Yeah, he's such a smart man. I I, I this is I can't believe this. I can't believe this. 
And people do actually defend him in, in a baby talk way. People actually defend this 81-year-old kook in this way, like a preschooler. Like, listen, listen how crazy this is. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. Gold stars. Gold stars. Yay. You answered, like, every question. You stood on stage. You look, you look nice in your tie. Oh, my God. And that, of course, goes right into, well, you know what Trump did? He lied. Well, what did he lie about? Well, he lied. But he never told us what he lied about. He lied. Coming from the family and the entire establishment who's lied to us for decades. I, I, it's always hilarious to watch a criminal mafia like the political establishment, the White House, the CIA, the FBI, the, they're all full of devious, deceptive, evil, psychotic pukes trying to determine who is worse of a criminal. <laughs> it always amazes me because every time they try to you know, prosecute Trump or someone in the Trump administration for all the heinous crimes they've done, but then you realize that the person that's prosecuting has done even worse crimes than what they're committing Trump of or what they're committing someone in the Trump administration. Of. It's, it, it is just absolutely baffling. It's just incredible. And the most you can do is laugh about this until you cry and realize that people actually believe this crap. Like I, 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 I almost feel sorry. I kind of almost feel sorry for people thinking that this guy is actually well off because they know they're watching too much MSNBC or CNN or believing any of the crap that Jill Biden's saying on stage. Like, oh, he's such a he's such a great guy. He went on stage and answered questions. Woo-hoo! If that qualifies anyone to be president, then by all means, let's just have everyone become president. I guess all those parents were right that, you know, their son and or daughter could become uh, the commander in chief one day. This 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 is elder abuse. This is elder abuse because they're doing it selfishly for their own benefit. This is not helping Joe Biden. If they seriously cared about the health and stability, if Jill Biden actually gave a shit about her husband. You'd be demanding him to step down. You'd be demanding him to step down, go back to Delaware, go back to your house, and try to live your golden years. Try to live some sort of final farewell. He's sundowning. He's on his final frontier. Go live your normal, healthy lives outside of the establishment political conundrum. Because this is dangerous. This is ultimately dangerous. And what you're doing is malice against not only the general public who deceptively lied to right there out in the open after people just witnessed the train wreck that your husband put on. Not only did you lie about that, but you're lying directly to your own husband. Unbelievable. And I don't know, I don't know if people know the story behind how these two met. I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't know if this is 100% correct. I just, this is what I've been told. This is kind of like a, a little rumor I've heard. But uh, supposedly, Jill Biden, Jill, uh, started off as Joe Biden's babysitter. She used to babysit uh, the, the first set of kids that uh, Joe Biden had with his first wife. And... Supposedly, these two, while Joe Biden was married, had a little affair going around for about maybe a year. And then when the first wife went out of the picture, these two got together. Again, I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate. I don't have the information on hand to explain that to you, but that's what I've heard.
That's what I've heard, that these two got together basically on an affair track that he cheated on her first husband, uh, on her first uh, marriage, and now she's just deliberately going, <laughs> bullshitting, bullshitting him to, you know, her own selfish needs. But she's a doctor. But she's a doctor. She, she's got, she's doing it for the benefit of the community. No, no, she's doing it for himself. He's doing it for the fact that Jill Biden gets kickbacks of being the first lady, being the high priestess of the country of the country. And that's why they're deliberately trying to push them to the end of being the president, the most the most highest responsibility of the land. A man who is un- incapable, incapable of walking. They're trying to make him responsible for the entire country. That, to me, is elder abuse. That, to me, is an abusive relationship. And that, to me, is more dangerous. That is dangerous to not only the country, but their family themselves than anything that Trump has ever been committed of. And I'm not even a fan of Trump. Trump.